Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm back at you with another video. This is my latest pickup from Balenciaga. I actually ordered it online from Balenciaga.com when I found out they had stock of this online. If you've been following my channel, you know I usually like to kind of have these unboxings, but then I'll change the title of the video maybe a week after. This comes in a larger box than normal or what I expected. It's their standard white box. So I think you can already see right there what it is, although it's not clear what color it is, and it's a little unusual. I thought it came with two separate ones. I guess it just comes with one single dust bag. So these are the fluorescent yellow triple S trainers from Balenciaga. This is their latest color. I did already try these on, that's why the laces are undone. And this color is pretty hard to fully capture on camera because it is a fluorescent color, so it's quite bright. The camera's gonna make it a little flatter. And these are pretty heavy, but I believe these newer versions are lighter than the original ones. And they also come with an extra set of laces. It's the same exact style, so I guess it's if they get dirty. Or perhaps I see that they have eyelets here. I wonder if you can double lace them as an option. I mean, these are already pretty over the top anyway. So I've decreased the lighting just a little bit so you can get a better sense of the color so that it's not oversaturated right now. What you're seeing on camera is a bit closer to what it looks like, at least from my viewfinder. Because when I looked at this online, the pictures were a lot more yellow and this in real life is a little bit more green. It's almost like a fluorescent light lime green than it is like a true highlighter yellow. Help focus on the details a little bit better. These details, they're actually ridged. I thought they were solid. So you can see here, these extra parts, they're like a flap that goes over it. So it's hollow inside the same here. And the same for this white detail as well. You can see I can bend it a little bit. And those are the additions to the sole. I wonder though if in the original versions they're solid and therefore the original ones were heavier. Because what I heard their reasoning for moving the manufacturing to China was that they could produce it much lighter. I'm honestly not sure why they couldn't just do that in Italy. I do know that obviously China has a lot of the infrastructure for producing sneakers. I still am a little pissed if I'm being honest that these are still the same price but they're made in China. I mean looking at them though they are definitely better quality than like a hundred dollar pair of Nike sneakers but it still for me doesn't make sense that it's still the same price whereas I'm pretty sure the labor is less expensive. I know from a pricing model perspective, I don't think they would want to decrease the price because that's also going to piss off the original owners of the Triple S because now there'll be a cheaper version and it's, it'll almost be like they're knocking off themselves. So I get it, but I'm still not super happy about it. So here's the information. As you can see, it says made in China and they're not trying to hide it. When you go on the website in the details, it says that it's made in China. A lot of websites, when it is made in China or Vietnam or Thailand, they'll say that it's imported. And that's a tip for you guys. If you do online shopping and you see that it says imported, more often than not, it's from one of those countries. And earlier I was saying these are the versions that have the size on the toe. They make two versions of the Triple S. These are the more desirable ones, the versions that have the size on the toe. When I was looking at different styles, these are the ones that always sell out within minutes. And I had a chance to purchase the capsule collection, the red one, but I hesitated and within five minutes, my size was gone. Here's the bottom. It reminds me of basketball shoes, like with these pods here. And then you have Balenciaga in the middle. So the white part doesn't really touch the floor, which for me is good because I still have not worn my speed trainers. I know some of you are going to yell at me, but I know it's a kind of stupid reason, but because the sole is white, I just really like the crisp white and black look. So I just, I just haven't 
decided to wear them yet. I really should because I've had them now for over years and they're just sitting in my closet. In the back, this also has Balenciaga and it looks like they've done some sort of distressing treatment to make it look kind of dirty. And it even affects this part, which I believe is reflective. I haven't been able to try this out at night to see if it is truly reflective, but I have a feeling it is. And it kind of stained, they stained some of the fluorescent yellow parts as well. At first I thought it was just dirty from someone trying it on, but then it's consistent with both pairs of shoes where these distress mark is. You can see a little bit right here and you can see it on the these leather parts as well. So this is calfskin and I think they said calfskin and nubuck or calfskin and lambskin. There's two type of leathers that they use. And I noticed that in the front, there's a cool gradating checkered effect here. You can see how the rectangles are slimmer and then it goes to squares in the middle. And these take some use to wearing and walking because your heel is here, but the soles extend past it. And they're definitely one of my heaviest shoes. Definitely would be my heaviest sneakers. And there's just a loop here in the back. These, just like all of the other Triple S trainers, I'm still pretty torn about this because honestly, when they first came out, I thought they were ugly. As I see them more and more, they're pretty prevalent on social media. You kind of get used to it. It's like a it's like a psychological phenomenon. I can appreciate all the details though when you compare this to the speed trainers or the yeah the speed trainers, which are literally just a sock sewn on a rubber sole. And right now, I think they're only a hundred dollars less than these. And look at all the material and work that you have on these. It's a huge comparison. And one more thing is on the tongue. It has the triple S here, but I think they've changed this over the time. This one's a pretty simple rubber, looks like a rubber plastic sticker on the tongue here. There's also another loop here in the gray ribbon. I do have another pair of fluorescent yellow sneakers for you to compare. And now that I see them side by side, they're actually pretty similar in color. So again, another thing for you to compare if you were thinking about these. These are the Nike Vault Flyknit trainers and these are the original Olympic color version because they remade it I think a few years ago, but I think these were from the 20 either 2010 or 2014 summer Olympics and These also sold out. I had to keep refreshing the stock because Nike would hit, Get a few here and there. It's kind of a similar thing with here Although I got tipped off on social media I bought this right away because I know at least wanted to try it and then I think within a few hours it was sold out. I think this color is not as popular because it is kind of harder to wear and match. But I do like peculiar things and I do like, you know, I have this pair which I love. I would never get rid of this. You can see the color. This one is even more green, a little bit more green than this one, but it could be because there's some black woven into it so it appears a little darker. But it's actually, this fluorescent vault color is pretty similar to the Balenciaga. And lastly, just to show you these, as I was mentioning earlier, these are the speed trainers, the sock knits that I still have, still have not worn. You can see they both have Balenciaga on the side. But these, when I got them, were $595. They've since gone up in price. I believe the plain version is $750 now, and then if you get the versions with the different colors or extra graphics, they might be $795. And I know they recently also introduced ones with the laces, which are the same style of laces here. So it's kind of crazy. I mean, these are still made in Italy, but look at all of the material and work to produce this, and it's only $100 more than these, which the upper, there's no structure to it. It is just a sock knit.
And that's my video. Thank you for watching. In terms of the fit, I do think these more or less fit true to size. They might have a little bit more wiggle room just because how much padding there is, but there are laces for you to tighten up. Unlike the speed trainers, which I recommend sizing one size down, those don't have laces and those are more susceptible to slipping than these because there's more texture, it's padded and you have laces. So that's what I would recommend is that you get your regular size. But if you do really like a much more snug fit because these are heavy, then I think sizing down would probably work for you too. It just means you'll probably want to wear thinner socks. I'm really undecided at this point if I want to keep these or not because these are sold out online and they're going to be hard to get. These are the type of shoes you can't really just walk into Balenciaga any day of the week and just get them. Looking back at all of the Triple S trainer colors, my favorite is still the original one, which had the red and medium blue. And my second favorite is the other color, which is the green kind of a kelly green with yellow so what do you think about these should i keep them i'm probably gonna do a poll on instagram as well i think people are either gonna love this or hate it you really can't be in the middle when i first saw these like the triple s i hated them that's the truth as i've seen them more and more and i did see them in person on a few people I, i'm kind of growing into it but it also will depend on what you pair this with if you like to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, check me out on Instagram where I post the latest content and exclusive updates as well. And I hope to see you in my next video, guys.